Ada murah.
nanti nanti ada ada halo Halo Dokter Ferda. Can you hear my voice? Ya, yeah. halo, assalamualaikum. Salam. Nice to see you. Alhamdulillah. So today we will conduct our lecture. My lecture first, one hour, right? Uh, then... Only one hour. Uh -huh. I thought it's going to be one and half. Okay, uh, depends on the, the chapter two today, uh, how can we complete uh, the lecture. Uh, I, I try uh, to complete it within one hour. Only few. Okay. 
chapter two. Can you please have some extra light? Because it's a bit dark. Yeah, that's better. And I also need this uh, recording uh, to. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's right. We already have recorded. So you will start in seven minutes. Uh, Dr. Adi Bobo, I already put you as a co-host, okay. so you can okay. unmute yourself. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh. Not yet. Hello, Dr. Verda, how are you? Alhamdulillah. Okay, I can see my student already enter this class. Uh, for your information, uh, especially uh, section one and section two. So this is a joint lecture uh, between uh, University Malaysia Pahang and also uh, Diponegoro University, and we will proceed as usual, chapter two. Uh, multimedia development workshop and for the next uh, hours it will be delivered by Dr. Adi uh, he is going to especially from University Malaysia Pahang can get some knowledge how to implement the AI uh, in the game and how to uh, enhance your uh, game quality, uh, game development, and and also I hope it can help you uh, to improve your uh, project. Uh, by end of the semester, uh, we expect that the student able to demonstrate capability to uh, gather and manage related information and learn new skill through uh, this. Uh, join lecture, yeah. Uh, anyone from the section one or section two, please uh, speak up or drop a message into the chat box.
Section one, please uh, turn on your camera. I want to see you. Uh, hello, Tam. Okay, how about the others? Turn on your camera. I'm going to record your attendance now. Okay, hello. Murfika, okay. Ang Ming Chu, okay. Lee. Others? Okay, uh, who else? I'm recording now to collect the attendance. Okay, Muhammad Ashraf. Okay, Wan Kwan. Wu Ming Chu, okay. Shauki, Amiruddin. So this is a joint lecture uh, for your information, especially from my student from section one and section two. Uh, there are a few students from uh, Diponegoro University will join our lecture. And I hope you all of you uh, uh, can get a new knowledge and please ask a question uh, that relate to the uh, lecture today. And I hope can get uh, a new yeah uh, information especially uh, AI uh, artificial intelligence in the game programming maybe we can start uh, okay yeah we can start we can start now yeah okay everyone my name is Fajar Agung Nugraha I'm one of the staff here from University University of Diponegoro Diponegoro University. Uh, before we start, let me introduce you to our lectures. We have joint lectures here from UMP and also from UNDIP. Uh, the first lecture will be held by Dr. Fedja Ernawan. As you know, UMP student. He's, uh, he has graduated is doctor in 2014 from University of Technical Malaysia, Malata. And the second lecturer will be Dr. Eng Adiwi Bowo. He has graduated from Nagoya University, Japan in 2016. So without further ado, let's please welcome the first section, Dr. Freda Ernawan. This is, uh, the stage is yours. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Fajar. So, so before I start uh, our lecture today, uh, actually uh, this is my our uh, chapter two. Yeah. So before uh, we start, uh, let me uh, brief explain, uh, especially to the student uh, from the University uh, of Diponegoro. This course is a multimedia development workshop, okay? And the learning outcome of this course, uh, by the end of the semester, student able to formulate a solution of a specific problem uh, 
by using multimedia uh, application, by implementing phase of multimedia uh, project development. Okay. And the second one, uh, by end of semester, uh, student able to develop uh, the multimedia application by involving necessary activity in the project development process using various tool and the technique. And also the uh, by end of semester, uh, we expect the student able to demonstrate and capability to gather and manage the related information and learn new skill through the multimedia uh, project development. And the most important, uh, the cost outcome of this uh, is demonstrate a student able to demonstrate the capability of managing multimedia project and identify the commercial value. So uh, we hope that uh, by completing this course, the student uh, uh, can develop the, the multimedia application that has the market value. Okay, this is the general overview of the uh, assessment and uh, for your information, okay. Our student, uh, UMP uh, student, uh, will go, is going to develop a game application. Okay, we focus on the game, and uh, that has a market value and potential to be commercialized. So, uh, this is uh, our uh, chapter, uh, second chapter. It's about the project management. How do we manage the project so we can complete the project uh, on time? Okay, based on the budget and so on. So for you, uh, the various stage of the project consists of, first is thinking. You, so you have to think about the idea. So what should you do? Uh, what game, uh, what is the game requirement uh, in the market now? You have to uh, identify, you have to uh, search uh, a new, uh, the existing, uh, sorry, the existing application then you have to come out with a new idea, especially we, we want a unique one. Okay. If we focus on uh, game development, so you need to uh, produce the unique game. And the unique game can be a selling point to the market. So if, if you have a unique product, of course, uh, it will be uh, will get the, a good response from the market. Yeah. After you have the uh, a unique idea, okay. So you need to do a plan, okay. Okay, plan and schedule. Okay. So you need to prepare uh, from the user requirement, okay, the uh, system requirement, okay, and then the uh, the storyboard, okay, the mechanic of, of the game and also the milestone, okay? When you have to start and when you have to complete, okay? In this semester, uh, UMP uh, will implement, uh, will, uh, will applying, uh, in the UMP, uh, we only have uh, 13 weeks to complete the project. Student must uh, uh, identify and do uh, some uh, planning here, uh, do some, uh, what we call uh, plan, okay? So we have to divide the, into uh, several tasks uh, in order to complete the milestone. So scheduling is uh, very important to make sure you can complete the project uh, on time, yeah? The next one is uh, the stage uh, in order to develop the project is the uh, data collection uh, or data gathering. Uh, it involves the user requirement, okay? And also the uh, system requirement. So the data collection, it can come from a uh, market survey, okay? We, we want to know uh, what's the market survey, what's the response. Uh, let's say you have an idea, you have a plan like this, then we, we need to get the, some response from the, uh, the, the stakeholder, okay, the user and so on. So you need to uh, collect all the necessary information, uh, and then you need to uh, do the user requirement, okay, to 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 produce the uh, game that the user want, okay. And then the next is uh, 
you also must know the status uh, updating through the network and uh, giving early warning. Okay, if uh, it is uh, out of date, uh, for example, the 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 feature that you want to propose in the game here is uh, not up to date. So you have to uh, you have to update. Okay, you have to update the uh, the the data and the plan and also uh, to and also to you also need to give a early warning uh, to the, your team member okay we need to uh, do uh, some correction revision and so on early warning also can be implemented in for example when you uh, we, when you have uh, developed the milestone and then currently uh, your status is not complete yet so you can give an uh, early warning to your team member. So you have to uh, warning your team member. You have to complete it on time. You have to. We have a limited time. So uh, this is so encourage the your team member to perform uh, better yeah? and pave path for a success completion. Finally, uh, by end of the uh, project, uh, you will uh, achieve or the goals uh, of the game development and it can be uh, accepted by the user yeah so management uh, it is important uh, for you so you have to know the about the management how to manage your, your uh, team member your resources the data and so on so actually what is the management here it is a technique of understanding the problem needs Okay, and the controlling the use of resources, cost, time, scope, and quality. So it's about uh, uh, technique, yeah. How do you manage the resources? How do you control the quality? How do you uh, control time? So it's related to the uh, management. And the, the project management, management itself, it is an application of knowledge, uh, skill, tool and technique to project activity in order to meet the stakeholder need okay and the expectation from a project so if you want to uh, develop a game okay you have to make sure you have to highlight it here the game that you want to develop has fulfilled the stakeholder requirement okay you cannot conduct the game you cannot develop a game based on your preference based on your uh, imagination or based on the uh, your idea but you have to know the user requirement especially stakeholder needs and needs here state a part of the project okay and the expectation and state part of the project okay the completion of the project on time within a budget uh, without comprim uh, compressing a quality so we hope that the project that you develop uh, can meet the minimum quality. Uh, it means that marketable. Uh, it can be accepted by market. If you produce a game uh, with the low quality, uh, so I believe uh, the market uh, will not use your. Why do people learn uh, project management here? to explore the latest concept. Uh, you have to use the latest concept. You have to use the latest technique. Uh, in, uh, of course, in order to implement a game, uh, uh, in order to develop a game, of course, you need to use AI. So today is our joint lecture. We hope uh, uh, the student, I'm especially you have student can uh, get a better knowledge, especially AI in the game. Yeah. To increase the value and contribution to the organization, uh, to prove uh, yourself skillful in the ma managing a project. Uh, we need to learn a project management uh, to learn a new, uh, because uh, we want to learn a new through a process that help organize thinking and structure approach to acquire a professional degree, uh, recognize uh, recognition and increase the job uh, prospect and endless possibility and the benefit. Yeah. This is the some reason why we need to learn a project management. So here, uh, project management plan, something like telling you how work will be done. Okay. So in order to develop a game, so you need to 
uh, minutes your plan. You need to tell the others uh, uh, project member, okay, in order to complete this task. So we have to do this uh, task given to you, okay. You divide into several tasks and then you distribute into the team member. Then you always communicate to, uh, among a group member, yeah. The key to successful project is on the planning. Uh, I agree, definitely agree. Okay, without planning, something like you develop a game uh, without the guideline. Okay, something like uh, you uh, develop a game and only uh, the user only you. Huh? So you need to plan. Okay, plan uh, in order to uh, design a game uh, to. Uh, develop a game uh, system requirement and so on. The most important thing is the planning, okay? Because all the detailed planning work for different aspect or uh, different tasks, okay, of the project is integrated into one a single plan, known as a project management plan. Yeah. So uh, by uh, detailing the task uh, given to you uh, to uh, the other project member, uh, it is important to minis uh, your project okay so for example you need to identify the input yeah, such as a goal your team your team characteristic your team uh, uh, what we call behavior okay money okay time okay and also the equipment that needs uh, uh, equipment that we need to complete uh, to develop the game. Yeah. So this is a, uh, and then uh, by 13, okay, you, you need to complete the project and by end of the uh, milestone, you, are, you can deliver the, the game application. So this is the current challenge. Uh, uh, usually we will uh, face this challenge, yeah. For example, here inability to achieve on time. Okay, if you don't manage, if you don't plan properly, of course you will delay. Delay means uh, you cannot uh, deliver the product uh, to the stakeholder on time. So it will be uh, give a bad uh, a perspective view. Yeah, so you need to uh, really manage the time. Okay, on the budget and quality of the deliverable, uh, the deliverable uh, due to the lack of control. So the, the next challenge is the lack of visibility on the project uh, procurement uh, and or contract management, lack buy-in due to less okay, or no project communication, okay, lack rigor in risk management, okay, poor or no documentation and record management in the in the place, okay. No or irregular project help check uh, carry out. Yeah. Inability to uh, review existing project again, changing uh, priorities uh, and prioritize and condition. So this is very important. Yeah. Currently we we face this uh, issue. Yeah. Uh, if you uh, if you don't look at the new environment. Uh, currently uh, we are in the uh, pandemic situation. Okay. So how is how do you, you have to think how the product can be sell to the uh, in this uh, situation? Okay, so you need to uh, find the existing project uh, against uh, changing a priority. Uh, you need to uh, prioritize. Okay, you need to list uh, the prioritize uh, in order to. Uh, re in order to review the existing uh, project, for example, uh, and you have to look at the uh, your environment now, your market value, the market survey. It is very important uh, to make sure that the uh, game can be accepted to the market. Like visibility on, on resource uh, demand and uh, order loads, yeah. scope not tightly uh, control leading to uh, ROI goals and meet and inaccurate scope definition and or no detailed project plan to achieve it. Okay. Uh, uh, this semester we only have a 13 week 
Okay, so you have to really scope your project. Don't make it too general or broad. So you have to scope it into the small uh, project and make sure uh, you can complete it on time. This is also uh, the issue, uh, a challenge uh, to you uh, in this uh, situation. And uh, for the project management process, okay, uh, we have an interface here, start project, and then initiating, initial, initiate the process, okay, uh, plan the process, execute the process, and close the process. So this is the monitor and control the process. Uh, finally, end of, of the project, uh, we come out the, the, with the game application. So uh, in the project management, uh, this is more, this is uh, the important part, okay? Uh, you need to identify, okay? The, the existing game, you need to identify the, uh, before you develop it, yeah? you need to identify the market survey, uh, you need to identify the, the feature, uh, the game, uh, feature of the game that can be commercialized, that can have a market value. And suppose it, it is a unique uh, a game that you can offer to the user. Yeah. After that, you need to plan the process. Okay. Start from the uh, proposal, okay. uh, user requirement, system requirement, a storyboard, and so on, uh, use case diagram, and so on. And finally, you implement it, okay? You implement, execute the process. And uh, by the end, this one, you can sell your product uh, and uh, can be accepted. So planning, scheduling, and controlling and closing. Yeah. Most important phase, of the project management. Planning is an art yeah, and science of converting a set of objectives to realis uh, realization through a series of steps executed in, the, in an organized and predicted way so that there will be less requirement of changes. So this is, uh, I want to highlight, if you have uh, a good planning, okay, I believe that you will get the less requirement of changing, okay? If, you, if your plan meet the stakeholder uh, requirement, suppose it will be less requirement of change, yeah? And the old saying, plan the work, work, to, uh, work the plan. So you need to plan properly so you can uh, work, yeah? Smart working. Okay, uh, next one is the scheduling. In this process, okay, it's a, a process of uh, formalizing activity. Okay, you need to divide the several tasks. Okay, especially uh, in it is related to the milestone. Okay, what kind of activity will involve in your project, and then you have to set end of the com uh, the complete the completeness of the activity. Yeah. So you have to measure for each activity, start and also end of the activity. Yeah. And also the this is something like about the duration and also about the resources okay. uh, and sequence of occurrence in the consultation uh, with the team members, communication among uh, team members. Planning and scheduling phase are undertaken before the actual project start, okay? Before you start, so you have to plan and schedule. So actually, uh, in this week, okay, and then in the previous week, uh, in the previous lecture, I already uh, asked you to, to prepare the market survey, okay? The aims of market survey here is to identify the market requirement, the, the stakeholder uh, needs. Yeah. Then, after you get the feedback, okay, you can start to plan. Uh, you select a certain topic, then you you must discuss among a group member. Uh, you need to divide into several tasks, and you need to plan and schedule 
uh, assign each member to a certain task. Uh, uh, the task given to the each member so must be completed on time. Okay, controlling is another uh, element in the uh, project management. It, it is undertaken during the actual project implementation. Uh, project controlling is a mechanism uh, established to determine the deviation from the project base schedule. To replan uh, and the reschedule during implementation to com compensate the deviation on the basis of commissioning uh, minima. And flow of resources like finance, okay, manpower, equipment, and application technique. Okay, uh, the next phase is a, a, a closing phase. Uh, it is a last phase of the project, uh, which bring close out of the complete the project. Whatever the project requirement are pre-defined, okay. During this phase, the totally delivered is made, yeah. Uh, the total delivery is made and it is accepted by the customer. So in this phase, okay, once you already uh, uh, wrote the user requirement that already defined in the previous uh, stage, okay, you have to fulfill all the requirement. You have to fill for, you have to fulfill all the user needs. Okay, so this is something like you have to make sure whatever the user requirement that mentioned in the report should be executed and completed, okay? And of course, uh, should be accepted by customer. Uh, why should it be accepted? Because it's come from user requirement. User requirement from the customer and stakeholder and so on, because we already conduct the uh, user requirement. And, uh, Maximum conflict can arise in the project during this phase between those who have work to deliver the outcome or some we call it contractor and the or you yeah, and those who are accepting the result of the work or the customer. Yeah, usually it it, it always happen, uh, especially uh, if you face uh, uh, the customer like, okay, uh, that time they mentioned about the feature of the game uh, a, B, C, D. Okay. Suddenly, by end of the uh, or closing phase, uh, the customer want to change uh, the feature yeah, yeah, inside the game. So something like conflict of interest. Therefore, you need to document into. Uh, you have to document it. Yeah, all the user requirement, and you you have to get the signature signed from the the user. Okay, from. Uh, from page to page, okay. It is uh, help to you to make sure that the user, uh, we can push the user uh, to uh, not to change the user requirement, uh, especially at the end of the uh, phase. Yeah. Okay, for the project management knowledge area, uh, number one is uh, integration scope time, cost, quality, human resource, communication, risk, uh, procurement, uh, document, and change. So for in integration, okay, support various elements of the project management which are identified, defined, combined, and coordinated. Okay. For example, develop a project uh, charter, okay. develop the project management plan, direct and manage project execution, monitor and control the project work, perform integrated change control, and close the project, or close or finish a completed uh, completion. Yeah? And for the scope, project uh, scope management include the process required to ensure that the project include all the work required and only the work required to complete the project successfully. It is very important. Yeah. So when you uh, have when you have a requirement, for example, if you if you have a for example, when you receive the user requirement, okay, you have to identify the uh, the scope, okay, 
the scope that, for example, when you want to develop a game, okay, you know, you and you also receive the user requirement. Not all the user requirement can be accepted. Okay, you have to think, yeah, that the the user requirement, okay, from the user requirement, then we identify the scope of the of your game. Yeah. Before you uh, develop a game, you need to analyze, okay, the scope, and then you need confirmation from uh, from to the from the user or customer or stakeholder. Before you execute, before you design, okay. So not all the user requirement can be accepted uh, by you, okay. But you need to come up with the idea or solution. Oh, okay. The user actually uh, want to uh, a game that has a feature A or and B, okay. However, the user are not able to explain it well or well well uh, explain it to the the, to the uh, game developer. So you need to think that uh, the information that uh, that you receive from the, the user, you, you, you are able to translate and uh, design uh, what we call the idea. Okay. Sometimes the user want A, B, yeah. but the user talk about C and D. So you are as the analyzer, you need to identify actually uh, what is the user need. This is your uh, job uh, as, and also uh, in order to uh, define the scope. So uh, you need to make sure the game that you want to develop, not too broad, but uh, you have to scope it into the small thing. Unless you have a big member, yeah? you have a big uh, resources, then and uh, and the game that you want to do but uh, related to our uh, project now uh, your game must be uh, developed and scoped into the small one okay collect requirement define the scope uh, create wbs okay and verify the scope. And this is very important, verifying scope. Uh, you need to get the confirmation uh, from the user or the uh, stakeholder. Okay, WBS, it is a work breakdown structure, okay? It is uh, something like a delivery-oriented hierarchical decomposition of the work to be executed by the project team. And uh, WBS here organize and define the total scope and represent specify in the current approved scope statement. Okay. And the process uh, of subdividing project deliverable and project work into more manageable component. And the lowest, uh, so it is some hierarchy, okay? And the lowest level of the WBS is work package can be scheduled cost estimated and monitor and control. So this is the example of overall uh, project, okay? Uh, this is the uh, typical WBS of the uh, project, yeah? Okay, next is uh, project time management, okay? When you uh, conduct a project, you have to ensure the timely completion of the project. Let's say uh, you already divide into the several milestone, yeah, uh, several tasks. Okay, let's say uh, you are uh, on the certain task, yeah, you already overdue. Yeah, this is uh, something like uh, you have to uh, manage your time. Okay, you already overdue in the in the tasks are given to you, so you need to. Um, make sure the other tasks given to you should be completed on time. Uh, not drag to the other's activity. For example, activity one, overdue. Also overdue, not like that. But once uh, the, a certain activity overdue, then you have to uh, strategize to make sure the second and the third can be completed on time. 
So it's about the plan uh, schedule management, okay? Define the activity, uh, again. So uh, this uh, should be, uh, you need to define the all the activity involved uh, in the project, okay? For example, game, uh, uh, this game, in order to develop this game, then you need to define all the activity, okay? Who will be, who will develop the character? Okay, how many character we have? Okay, about the uh, difficulty level. Okay, game level. Okay, so you need to declare uh, clearly, and you have to mention again the completion of the each activity. Yeah? Completion for each activity. So let's say you have a twenty means that, uh, let's say you have 20 activity uh, in your milestone, you have to make sure you also have a 20 completion activity and you have to state the end of the completion, okay? For example, activity one, develop a 3D model, okay? For character A. For this activity, okay? You have to uh, mention the completion of character A in which date, in the certain date, okay? And you have to make sure the others member also uh, perform uh, the tasks uh, given to him or her uh, on time. Yeah. Okay. Sequence is it a sequence activity? Okay. Uh, is it compulsory to conduct the sequence uh, activity? No. Yeah. You can over. Yeah. Over. Um, over over activity, yeah. For example, activity one can be com uh, suppose can be complete on the first December. Okay, the second activity can start before the first September. Okay, not sequence sequence something like uh, number uh, activity one uh, end of uh, end of the activity number one is uh, uh, first December. Activity two suppose on the second December, not like that. The sequence here means the you need to complete number one first, number two first, number three, number four, but not time. Yeah, it's, it's not about time, but activity. Yeah? It's totally different sequence time, uh, sequence activity, and sequence time. Here, the meaning of sequence activity you have to complete number one, number two, number three, number four, but in terms of time, you can offer. You can offer. Suppose you have to conduct offer. Yeah? You, you don't need to wait until the number uh, activity one completed. No. You have to start before activity one completed. Okay. So the meaning of sequence here, activity number one, uh, number two, number three, number four. You need to uh, define and make it prioritize. Uh, uh, suppose uh, from the planning, okay, design, okay, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, uh, design, and also the system uh, requirement, and the last one is implementation. Estimate activity resources, uh, estimate activity uh, duration, okay, uh, develop the schedule, okay, and control the schedule. Uh, usually, uh, everyone can be a uh, Every, everyone can control the uh, the schedule. Yeah? For example, you can uh, remind your uh, uh, team member, okay, we have a milestone, we have a uh, breakdown activity, and each activity already assigned into a certain group, and then you can remind to others. Uh, don't make the, uh, the, the, the others people, uh, what we call uh, influence to others one. For example, if one not complete, uh, definitely will affect to the other's activity, right? So you have to, uh, everyone can be controlled, uh, everyone can uh, control the other's uh, activity, can remind, give also warning, and, uh, and also the a big responsibility is under the leader, yeah? Okay. Next is this is the project time management. Uh, there are uh, seven step uh, network building process. Okay, identify uh, objective. Yeah. So if you want to develop a game, I we already defined the we 
by end of semester, you have to come out with a game application that can be that has a commercial value. So you need to identify the objective. Okay, I already give you a topic about the healthcare. So you need to uh, uh, identify the the objective of your game uh, that you want to develop. And list the next stage is the list main phase. Okay. Next is a build initial project schedule, uh, sequence and estimate the duration, resources allocation, allocate the resource and constraint. Okay. If you have a constraint, you can uh, mention it, uh, you can inform it so you can quickly to solve it. Yeah. At the lower level detail as required and then optimize the schedule if the uh, a plan is not really uh, proper, then you need to revise again. Okay. If okay, then you can uh, decide it. Yeah. You can uh, start to conduct the project. Okay. Project time management. Yeah. Schedule once finalized is set as uh, best and the progress of work are tracked, are tracked against uh, the best line okay uh, usually uh, we can call it uh, active assessment uh, you always uh, evaluate you can evaluate the progress from time to time yeah uh, the others uh, members you can track yeah uh, current progress is arrived from the various okay uh, tracker develop uh, for the purpose yeah. this schedule are called current schedule Analysis and forecasting is done in the progress report. So you all you also can use the uh, MS project. Okay, you can use uh, Primavera uh, engineering tracker, uh, manufacturing and supply tracker, uh, construction tracker, and others uh, uh, tools to uh, to develop the uh, schedule yeah, or milestone. Next is about the uh, project management. Okay, uh, project cost management. Yeah. It includes the process involved in estimating, budgeting, and controlling costs so that the project can be completed within the approved the budget. When you develop a game, okay, you need. Uh, yeah, when we develop a project, uh, especially in a game. You need to prepare a, a proposal, right? Usually, inside the proposal, you will attach a, a budget, okay? Budget or cost that required uh, that uh, uh, that required to develop the uh, its game. So you have to not just uh, mention the number, yeah, it's just num mention the the amount of the budget, but you have to identify properly. Yeah? For example you want to buy the asset okay you have to survey the existing the existing asset and then you can mention the the price okay not just simplify put okay uh, 50 dollar or 10 dollar or 100 ringgit not not simplify like that okay you have to properly identify an analysis for each budget required okay uh, for example you want to buy the asset store yeah or you want to buy the 3d uh, models okay from the asset store for example okay then you need to identify properly okay is it one package is it half package or is it only one character uh, suppose the budget reflect to the 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 purchasing uh, items that you want okay so you need to uh, estimate uh, properly convert it into the budget okay okay after, after you can uh, after you have a, a what we call a plan okay or proposal okay so you, you need to convert all the necessary required in, in for developing the game should be converted into the budget of course, if you want to sell this game application, uh, you have to make sure uh, you have to measure the market value. 
uh, if the game, the existing game is uh, about the $20, and then you want to, uh, the, the cost required from uh, your team is $50, uh, something like, okay, it can be happen unless you have a unique feature, unless you have uh, evidence from the market uh, survey that it has potential to be uh, uh, commercialized. Okay, uh, without the evidence from the market survey, uh, why your uh, costing is uh, higher than the existing one? Uh, unless you have the unique one and it can be selling point to you. Yeah. Load the cost into the schedule. Uh, of course, uh, don't spend the budget into, uh, into a certain period. Okay. So you have to uh, uh, distribute uh, based on the requirement. Okay. For example, in the design here, so you need the 3D model. Yeah? So you, yeah, in this week, you need the budget. Okay, This is the tips for you when you uh, write the proposal, especially budgeting. Yeah? Perform uh, earn value, perform the estimate at the complete, administer a change, and the control cost. So uh, I hope uh, by week, six, uh, you can come out the proposal, uh, include the pre-market survey, okay, uh, to show the evidence uh, from the market, okay, not simplify, uh, uh, distribute the questionnaire to all the members, no, you have to identify who is the potential stakeholder that you involve in your project, okay. Proposal, survey, okay, and also but, uh, a milestone, budget okay so to those who who can uh, write properly uh, i can support because i just received a grant uh, from ump uh, to commercialize a product so i hope one of you you can uh, proper a good proposal and also can submit it to me huh? okay next one is about the budget here uh, project risk management okay it is a concern with identifying, analyze, analyzing, and responding to the project risk. Okay. Plan a risk management. You need to identify the risk, uh, potential risk that can be happen uh, from your product or from your game application. Okay. For example, you need to identify properly. Okay. Uh, your game that you, you have uh, been developed uh, and distribute uh, to the user is is there any benefit or usefulness or not or something like uh, this is just entertainment game but it cannot be commercialized entertainment game okay fine but suppose it can be commercialized this is the most important thing and identify the risk uh, for example the game that you have developed uh, has a potential uh, get a high risk. For example, you put a certain content that uh, not suitable to the game. For example, especially for for the children. Uh, let's say your your target uh, is the user is a children. So you you will receive a potential high potential risk. Yeah, especially complain. Uh, I believe. Uh, it not. Uh, uh, I believe uh, if you if you do uh, if you develop a game uh, without the user requirement, uh, proper uh, uh, risk management, okay, you will get some complaint to the from the user. Yeah, perform the qualitative risk analysis and also quantitative. Uh, qualitative and quantitative risk analysis. Okay, you can conduct. Uh, through uh, uh, quantitative, maybe you can conduct uh, through the survey, okay, and also the planned risk response, okay. You need to prepare, okay. Once it happened, you already identify the risk, okay. You need to prepare the answer. How we respond from uh, from this complaint, uh, potential complaint, and so on. Monitor and the control risk. So this is the 
uh, for example, risk assessment, risk control, uh, risk ranking. Okay, so this is prioritized. The highest risk uh, can be your prioritized, uh, can be your uh, the first prioritized to uh, mitigation. Okay, I think ah, uh, I think that's it from my explanation about the uh, project management, especially when you are in, uh, developing a game, okay? So you have to consider all of these things and I hope it can help you to communicate each other and uh, each student uh, aware about the uh, project management. So they have a, uh, what we call effective uh, learning, uh, for example, uh, ethic and also professionalism, okay? You have, uh, uh, we hope that uh, you have uh, integrity, uh, you have uh, uh, professionalism, okay? To complete your, the task given to you and make sure, again, uh, your product uh, can be commercialized or it can be accepted by market value. That is uh, our cost outcome. Uh, in this uh, lesson. I hope uh, all the students are aware about the uh, project management. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's it from me. Yeah, this, um, uh, thank you. can continue uh, to Dr. Adi that uh, he, he is going to deliver uh, artificial intelligence in the game and I hope it, it can help you to get a new uh, knowledge, to get a new idea uh, for implementing uh, artificial intelligence in your game application. Okay, I okay. think I will return back to uh, Dr. Adi. Uh, you can uh, start to uh, present. Yeah? Floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Dr. Verda, for uh, the lecture. Uh, so, okay, I will share my desktop. I hope my voice is okay. Um, okay. Okay, I think it's my my slide is okay, Dr. Veda. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Adi I'm from Dipeno Universitas Diponegoro, Semarang. Uh, before we start, uh, I will, uh, will introduce a little bit uh, the, the my campus. Maybe a few of, maybe only few people knows that about the Semarang. Okay, so wait, I will minimize the. Okay, so. This is the our campus, Universitas Diponegoro, uh, in Semarang, Central Java. Then you can see that uh, Central Java is in uh, Java Island, yeah, close to Jakarta, around 300 kilometer, and we are in the, uh, the center. Java and this is the our main campus in Tembalang campus. There is two campus, and this is the our building, uh, Faculty of Science and Mathematics. And uh, for world ranking, we are in QS now uh, in three hundred one to five hundred for for subject yeah for graduate employee ranking and for the QA for the THE time highest education world university ranking 2021 we are uh, on 10000 plus 1 uh, and you can 
maybe two or more in this link YouTube. I uh, saw the YouTube uh, link uh, on the bottom side. Okay. Every everybody ever come to Indonesia, but I'm I'm not sure people can speak up now. Maybe next we we will open the voice. Okay. Uh, for today uh, agenda, I will introduce a little bit about uh, AI for game. Yeah, AI for game. This is. Uh, very important to you to understanding first about the AI for game. And the second one is about the methods, about the method itself. So, so the method it's will, we will show several method, the final step machine, three search, uh, a star, neural network and reinforced learning. And the last uh, we can we will about the how can I be used for the your project and the next is the summary okay for the introduction so this diagram uh, very maybe uh, different from the different paper for the game However, this is a little bit uh, very close to the classification of or subfield of AI technique in uh, for we, we will discuss uh, later. Yeah. So here, artificial intelligence is very extensive scientific discipline, which enable computer system to solve problem by emulating complex biological process such as learning, reasoning, and self-correction. So, uh, AI focus on study of intelligent or rational agent, for example, entity with pervasive and act its environment, with the aim of achieving the goal or maximizing uh, perform on parameter. Yeah. Moreover, uh, this improvement uh, performed by the learning. This is the focus on AI. So if you know uh, very, I think most of you know uh, well about AI, but uh, here we will uh, show the subfield to understand more, maybe uh, to review the, about the AI. So we can think, when we can think are deterministic or observation, observable or static and com completely known uh, for the scenarios in this algorithm AI, we can use the optimizing theory. The, the optimizing theory here, we have the mathematic formula, breadth for search, taboo search, and logic uh, genetic algorithm, for example, and many things, and a colony and many things. This is for uh, a problem that we can observable. And skin uh, for second problem or second element can be used for decision making algorithm is principle for maximizing uh, or with utility function in defined order to assign a single number or to express this label. This here we can use uh, this label methods yeah for example for this decision making algorithm and for the next is for the optimizing theory usually for the uh, for using the uh, search method also and uh, although when we use the probability and decision system we can use the between statistical method or decision making. So the methods such as Bayesian network, hidden Markov model, or Kalman filter. And unique and more very famous one, uh, the learning method. Yeah, learning method is uh, which 
very very famous now for the machine learning uh, widely used now and this machine learning have uh, three uh, main category supervised unsupervised and reinforced learning yeah, supervised mean the need uh, uh, input from the human unsupervised mean the without any uh, input from human and reinforced there is a reward and punishment on learning process and for knowledge based reasoning and planning method is common use when we know well the the problem you know, this is the ai so very wide and uh, there is several uh, method here we will explain more uh, in the next page okay so artificial intelligence now is very progress in recent years and very many application uh, technology and increased number of research area for the ai and also many news uh, reported about the ai also due to the hardware ad advancement yeah using the gpu yeah, using tpu and many many tool many hardware possible to develop ai however uh, in game development it's more interesting compared to the ai we know that the almost the all phone or maybe uh, uh, more computer usually there is game however in their game there is ai so for the user come uh, more interesting to the game and the problem is when we try to create game it's the, the problem is how to make a human level intelligent into the game for the natural uh, sense of, of for the games so here uh, artificial intelligence ai is very important for uh, making game more reliable and for and more uh, enjoyable for user uh, what is differences between uh, ai for computer science or ai for game in previous uh, slide I, I saw the ai for computer science yeah many algorithm but how ai for game yeah this is the uh, differences between the ai for computer science and for, for game first for ai for computer science must be the smartest it means that people try to get the best uh, performance uh, but in game however much be smart but usually purpose weeks to make the people uh, lose in enjoyable like more enjoy when they can uh, uh, defeat the, the game yeah. lost in fun yeah and challenging way so when we make uh, the game too smart it's make people will uh, bore with the game the second one is the in the computer science usually ai need to explain for the weakness yeah and should have the golden standard way for example, if we want to detect COVID-19 or detect to some cancer, we need to explain why the this AI cannot detect the the COVID well or what accuracy or what kind of weakness, what kind of the weakness of the algorithm. In games, uh, no unintended weakness or actually uh, no golden path to defeat like so uh, AI is, uh, can have the weakness however the more important is uh, there is no clue for the how to to defeat the the system like for cheating or something 
an important thing is for the AI in the game must not look dumb, yeah. Don't be look like uh, uh, the enemy look like uh, too ugly to shoot or something that easily to defeat. So it's also important. But in computer science, uh, loss for some case it's okay. Like if we uh, cannot uh, handle the some cases for the AI, it means this is the weakness of the AI for computer science. For the game, uh, sorry, yeah, for the game, usually they use the CPU because uh, GPU will use for rendering or kind of more graphical unit for processing more reality view compared to the AI. But in computer science or in the research, uh, usually CPU or GPU will perform together, can be offline on real time. But in the game must be real time. And for the computer science, uh, the AI usually configured by programmer, researcher, and hard code. Yeah, it's really difficult to code the new AI. It should be uh, uh, good uh, in mathematics commonly. But in game, configured by designer. It means the some scenario, some uh, uh, easy scenario. So be by designer, usually designer more knows about the market, about the AI itself. So uh, as mentioned by Dr. Ferda, it means that we need to create something that user needs. The, this is the uh, differences between the for AI for computer science and for game. And type of AI, usually the for the computer science using a global optimization, uh, supervised, unsupervised, uh, rule-based, and many things. And, and uh, for the AI, for the game, yeah, type of AI for game, it's really different. Uh, for example, uh, for real-time strategy, need uh, global strategy, yeah, uh, like the more all all few, and for the FPS first-person shooter, need modeling of individual unit on footstep level. So this is the more uh, the differences between AI for computer science and AI for game. So. So what is the AI in game? Uh, AI game is the technique used in computer and video game to produce the illusion of intelligence in the behavior of non-player character. So, and then game must feel natural, but entertaining is more important. And uh, based on the surface, 50% of project time is building AI itself. And there is two, Quote from Alex Compander and Dan Clean: The game AI is algorithm that replaces randomness, and good game AI is an algorithm that provides superior design result to randomness. So when we develop game, usually we will use the random generator or random for the enemy for random moving or something. And this AI, is, uh, the purpose of the AI is to replace the, the randomness to make more natural feel. Okay, so the history of AI, yeah, game and artificial intelligence have a long history together. Uh, much researcher on AI for game is encouraged with contrasting a game agent for playing game. Uh, with or without on learning component and historical this has been the first and for a long time and only approach to using AI in game uh, for the first time it's uh, Alan Turing yeah? Alan Turing is the first uh, scientist who generate the AI for game for the playing chess in 1952 and the next uh, the next one is uh, the first 
master a game for programming as Douglas is 1982 uh, for the tic-tac-toe game. And the the here the dot moth conference 1956 is the birth of AI yeah, in dot moth conference. Uh, used in here in the sort of more long brainstorming session for future AI luminaire where the term artificial intelligence was coined. Yeah. And the next, uh, Samuel, check all, and then using Chi, Chesh, and the uh, very famous era is when uh, Deep Blue, yeah? this this era, 1997, Deep Blue, I, I guess that all of you not yet born, <laughs> 1997, IBM, this AI beat the world champion, yeah, keep Saparov, I guess, and then next, uh, uh, the most famous one is DeepMind, yeah, uh, and then AlphaGo, uh, that beat the top human for Alpha uh, for the game. This is the history of AI for game. It's a long story. Next agenda is about the AI methods. I think I have how, how many time? I'm, what time is it? Okay, I see. Okay, the AI method in, I will uh, only introduce several AI methods. Yeah. Uh, the first one is the behavior authoring. It's referred to method employing static ad hoc representation without any form or shirts or learning such as uh, here we give example a finish that machine and there is other is behavior tree or utility based ai and the second one is tree search uh, refer to method that shares and space of future action and build tree of possible action sequence and often in adversarial setting, this is include the uh, min-max algorithm, Monte Carlo, a star, and, and many three of uh, uh, PFS and DFS and other. Uh, the next one is supervised learning, uh, refer to learning a model that maps in instance of data set to the target value such as classes, target value as necessary, for supervised learning. Common algorithm I use in here is big propagation or artificial neural network. And the next we will discuss about reinforced learning, refer to the method that solve reinforced learning problem where the sequence of action is associated with positive or negative reward. And the last one we discuss about the hybrid, the combination between the several methods. Okay, the finished state machine. Uh, this this is the abstract model of computation. It's the first computation model to to, to know the very well about computation. Uh, it's model composition based on hypothetical machine made of one or more state. So state is important here. Only single state can be active at the same time. So the machine must transition from the one state to another in order to perform different action. So number of state with store information about the task. So there is task like for example here, wonder, attack, evade, yeah, find aid. It's one of the information about task and the transition function that map input and the current state to the next set, for example, from vendor to attack, it's player when player is near. Yeah, this is the transition. And when a player is out of sight, the from the attack will back to vendor. A set of action that need to be followed with each state. So this is the the finite state machine. So a finite a uh, finite state machine can be represented by graph where the node are the state and the add are transition. Okay. 
Okay, this is the sample uh, finite state machine, the simple one, yeah, the uh, continue from previous. When we have the game, uh, for example, Egypt Tom, yeah, then when Egypt Tom uh, mummy behavior, we develop mummy behavior, spend all eternity wonder in Tom, so they will close to the Tom, the, the mummy. And when player close, yeah, yeah, when they play cross, they will search, yeah, and when C player, uh, the mummy will chasing, yeah, and different state, yeah, uh, the behavior of the each state, when vendor is move slowly and randomly. Yeah, this is the spirit state. Yeah, and when search moving faster in line, uh, like moving and run, and for chasing is direct to the player. Yeah, and other definition transition. Yeah, uh, the transition is when close close mean uh, here. It's 100 meter or smell or sense it's uh, possible to get and the uh, visible is line uh, when it's psych, yeah, line is psych, yeah. Usually the, when we develop the game, we'll, we'll, there is the rule for where, where is the close, where is the visible for the, the enemy or the here is mommy. When we want to make uh, more uh, natural, because we add magic scrap or amulet to the user, yeah, so we can extend easily by add the state afraid here. Yeah, state afraid. State afraid when player gets scrap. Yeah. Mummy is afraid. Yeah, or run. Yeah, mummy is run when they they use the amulet. Yeah, some uh, kind of uh, knife or something. And the behavior is move away from player fast. Yeah, move away from player fast. And the transition is when player gets grab. And when time expire from the user. They, uh, from the amulet, they will uh, the mummy back to the wandering uh, state. Yeah, yeah. We can have sub-state, some transition, and but different action. Yeah. For example, rank attacks or male attacks. Yeah, we can have this several sub-state. Uh, this is the finite state machine. The other, uh, the other method is three search, and here we explain a little bit about the best first search, uh, the A star kind of the best first search algorithm. Uh, the goal is find uh, find the sorted path, yeah, and the in why the this algorithm. Uh, Give name by first shirt because the expression of node in the search tree is informed by some knowledge about the goal state. Yeah. In general, the node that is close to the goal state by some criterion is expanded first. Yeah, the, the closest uh, node will expand it first, and uh, the most well known base for search uh, here. Uh, the A star require a graph information method to estimate distance between point, can heuristic or something. And basic method is try to all part, yeah, track uh, to uh, using the uh, extensive search, yeah, but it take time and uh, orientation. Target is minimize area of mapping to be examined, yeah, and use heuristic that indicate the estimated cost of getting to the destination. And this is the main advantage of S star. 
For example, the game is the Tower of Defense. Tower of Defense is most famous game for the AI algorithm or for something related to education too. Uh, when we, the enemy, there is like here, there is several uh, rules possible to use by enemy. And there is a tower who, which uh, tried to kill the enemy using the several uh, armor or kind of uh, gun and this enemy will try to find the closest uh, path to go to out or to escape from the map yeah the algorithm the step is will open the list try to note that need to be considered as possible start and further extension of the path this is the try to open the list and the close the list. Yeah, not that they have had all their neighbor add to the open list. And G score is contain the length of wake of the path from the current node to the start node. Uh, low length of uh, G score are better, and every node has G score. And the heuristic score, H score, is resemble G score, except it's represented in S limit of distance from the current node to the end point. To find the short path, the score must underestimate the distance. Usually the heuristic score, we can use the can include the distance or we can use the Manhattan distance, yeah, for example, to know the, the distance, like for example, between this area to this area. Okay. The other uh, best for search is try to make the intelligent to choose the step and uh, to go to the destination. Okay, the other um, I method is supervised learning. Supervised learning in here, in this in this example is artificial neural network. Yeah. The, the artificial neural network are a bio-inspiring approach for computational intelligence and machine learning. And AI is, and ENN is a set of interconnected process unit named neuron. Yeah, this is the neuron, which was originally designed to model the way of a biology brain and contain uh, over 1.1 neuron process information operation learning and perform in several tasks. Uh, biology neuron have cell body number of dendrites which bring information into the neuron the, as the input and action which transmit uh, this is trans transmit uh, electrochemical information out the neuron. Yeah, this is the output layer. Yeah. And the input X here, yeah, corresponding to the neuron dendrite and the wake parameter, yeah, V, uh, W is to corresponding to the synaptic strain and also processing unique to combine input with the, their corresponding wake via an inner product, wake sum usually. And there is add bias here, yeah, or threshold yeah, to wake the sum of the X time of wake, yeah, W plus bias. This uh, value is then fit to the activation function here, yeah, the cell body in the neuron, and then yield the output to the, uh, to the other neuron in the uh, neural network. This is only one neural network, so it's, uh, the basic architecture of neural network. Yeah. And how to take offense of the artificial neural network in simple game, you need to know the what kind of information the neural network should be provided to help solve the problem. So this is the more important, uh, know the information, the, the, what we try to solve. And then choose the input parameter. Just in way the different combination with let the neural network learn to solve problem which haven't appear in the example set of signal. 
and should raise question as much information about the game world as possible. For example, its vector or relative position or nearest obstacle obtained and and enemy strange, for example. And uh, acquire acquire set of input data for training. Yeah, this is the very significant effort when you try to develop the artificial network. It's need to the training process. Uh, uh, it require a very, very long time to give the training process. And the training neural network itself, yeah, makes the simulation testing to make sure the game is not too difficult or if too easy and in needed or further training. So this method is required training and uh, we need to check the training uh, result by using the testing and make sure the game is not too difficult because if too smart uh, too difficult it make the game and uh, uh, boring the user for example i sent to you the pycar using the net python this game is uh, developed by uh, python actually there is uh Basket. This is how to training the car to avoid uh, to avoid the mission. What a surprise! In just two. Okay. The next uh, on the this example actually the one car have five sensor and the the sensor has the input and the auto is turn left and turn right. Next step is reinforced learning. Yeah, reinforced learning is very interesting because this machine learning approach inspired by behavior psychology and is particular the way a human and animal learn to take decision via positive or negative reward receiving by their environment. In the reinforced learning, samples of good behavior are usually not available. Uh, compared to the supervised learning. Yeah. Instead, the similar to evolution missionary, reinforced learning learn the training signal of the algorithm is provided by environment based on how agent is interact with it. So uh, it's a little bit uh, close to the supervised learning, however, but the the training signal or algorithm is provided by uh, environment base. Yeah, different. If unsupervised, is we don't. Uh, there is no label or something, but unsupervised need to give the training data and other. And in here, the again uh, of the reinforced learning, there is states. Yeah, state and as representative of uh as and decide to take action yeah, to take action to the environment and the all variable here yeah is current state and respond to the environment deliver and uh, immediate the reward yeah. get the reward and then update the wake or other thing here actually there is neural network inside of of q learning and uh, the difference is the how to fit the input and the give reward and uh, some positive or negative uh, action to the environment. Here, this, for example, the deep Q learning, uh, special type of reference learning technique uh, used for uh, formulate the free kick in FIFA uh football 2018 i guess yeah 2018 and uh, how to the formula is the state yeah screenshot image of the game as to the mobile net cnn yeah so we use the image processing to detect the the input as the image and the action is for possible action to take shoot low shoot high, move left, 
or move right. So the action is uh, shoot low, shoot high, or move left or move right. Okay. Yeah. And reward is up when uh, pressing shoot in game, scoring increase by more than 200, where score a goal, yeah. If we miss the goal, score remain the same, so R will minus. Yeah, finally, R0 for action is related to the moving left or right. Yeah. And this, this algorithm uh, have two layer dense network that take feature map as input and predict total final reward for all four action. So we here saw that the, uh, the training process uh, takes many epoch yeah till 10 uh, 1000 epoch yeah for the uh, low epoch still not so good uh, skill yeah because the need the high training and the last one methods is the Hybrid, yeah, narrow evolution is method of optimizing neural network wake and topology using evolutionary computation. In here, using the genetic algorithm, yeah, the, this evolutionary reinforcement learning effort is applicable either when the error function available is not available yeah, or when the target output are not available. Yeah. Uh, usually, the population of chromosome that representative the and uh, the artificial neural network is involved to optimize a fitness function that characteristic the ut uh, utility quality of the IN representative and the population of chromosome is typically initially random in here yeah actually uh, uh, in most important is replacement strategy yeah extent uh, to apply the determinant final member of new population. And this uh, this is the combination between the genetic algorithm and the artificial neural network. Okay, this is the uh, next agenda. How can AI be used? Yeah. In here, uh, game AI is composed of set of method process an algorithm in artificial intelligence as those are applied to inform or inform the development of game yeah. naturally game AI can be analyzed to the method using identify the dominant AI approach under each game AI area yeah so alternatively in here in the uh, right figure yeah the domain can be uh, for it, this in the chapter for the books, yeah, uh, dominant and for secondary, and then there is a focus on uh, perspectives on end user and of game area. Yeah, finally, uh, game is by nature realize the system that entire rich human computer interaction. Yeah, because human interaction is the very important for the game. For example, when, however, the game very smart, but the human computer interaction is too low, it uh, will make the people uh, avoid the game. Yeah. For example, here, the for the playing game using the behavior alteration, the AI, yeah, the experience will also uh, dominant. Yeah. And for the research, yeah, Winning is, is dominant and the experience not so dominant and this, this is the how yeah, the measurement for the AI method for each uh, content yeah. and also the AI it's very important in uh, experience behavior yeah when Playing game, yeah, win and experience is, will make the uh, and user behavior will uh, come comment, and uh, we need to generate content, yeah, autonomously, yeah, 
and also the how the model player experience and behavior and this this the uh, ai can be used as the generate content and also to make more uh, enjoyable uh, game so the summary yeah here the AI method used in the video game is to produce the illusion of intelligence in the behavior of non-player character that replace randomness so when you develop game you could use the ai uh, to replace the randomness and several method find a machine uh, using the ad hoc representing yeah without any shorts of learning yeah a star usually used for pathfinding in game yeah uh, artificial neural network q learning hybrid are required training process for developing ai game and the last ai are concerned the player as end user on playing game interaction so the human computer interaction in uh, game also as concern in AI research. I think uh, this is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Uh, we'll back to Mr. Fajar or Dr. Veda. Maybe, okay. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Adi. Uh, maybe, uh... My student is smart. Uh, want to ask question? Uh, please. Uh, the microphone. You can ask question. Is what? Okay, because my uh, uh, Mr. Nanang. Oh yeah. Uh, there is. Oh yeah. Uh, please have uh, fill out the attendance form in the chat. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, to for the also student UMP or student UNDIP, yeah, please mm -hmm. fill to the uh, open uh, fill out the attendance form. Please, wait. We'll call the host to to open the. Oh, we can read maybe. Right. There is question to wait. Okay. Not unmute. Mm -hmm. Unmute. Okay. Cannot unmute. Sorry. Okay. So. Okay. Maybe Ricky Rivaldo, wait, wait. Can I operate? Okay. Oh no. Maybe the 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 right one, Mr. Dr. Verda, two thousand and is from Kemal. My name is Satria Kemal. I have question about the project management. Is there any way to push project member to stay on track without any punishment or pressure from the PM, project manager. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, in order to make sure uh, all the group member uh, can perform uh, on time, uh, so each member should have uh, ethic uh, provisionalism, uh, which is the uh, effective, uh, usually uh, it's used to describe those skill, attitude, uh, and behavior. So we can expect from the individual. Okay, and then the uh, most important in the uh, provisionalism. Okay, when you work together with uh, among a group member, uh, of course you don't know the the each characteristic. Okay, so uh, you have to uh, inform the, the others about the provisionalism. It's about the work responsibility. So everyone should aware about the work responsibility, a duty to be carried out uh, as prescribed in the scope and term of reference of the position held. The second one is about the uh, work relationship, yeah? work relation, okay, relation with the, among a group member, 
okay and work group and the community in a work setting and the third one uh, you have to uh, you have to tell the, the others a group member and sh uh, everybody everybody should aware about the work ethic yeah, system of moral rules or principle of behavior uh, it should be practiced in the workplace or a working environment and the last one uh, in order to reflect the professionalism uh, every member should have integrity okay? level of honesty and being upright in the keeping or defending his or her stand principle and accountability in the carrying out of a task so uh, all the members should aware about the uh, uh, four elements in the uh, under professionalism first work responsibility work relation work active and integrity Okay. Maybe everyone can. Uh, okay, Mr. Okay, Mr. Fajar already back. Yeah, <laughs> I have another meeting. <laughs> I see. Uh, this one so, is. This uh, question. Ricky Faldo, maybe Ricky Faldo will try to ask question. You can unmute, maybe. Perfect. Okay. Ricky Faldo. Okay, let me find his name first. Unmute or sorry, they, they, you can uh, the setting change to people can unmute by step. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, hello, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, uh, I'm okay. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity. Good afternoon, Dr. Verda. I want to ask something, uh, maybe a little out of topic, but I think still around of our topic. I'm curious about every team, every company or every project, the parameter of project management process always different. So how we can, how we can adapt in ever-changing environment of different project management process? Any tips for that? Or we can just stick to the basic we learn, or maybe we have determined the flow of the project management in teams. Thank you, Dr. Verda. So uh, I believe in the end of the project development, uh, all the members will achieve the goals, yeah? goals of the project. So you have to uh, declare uh, clearly what's the goal of the uh, project so that everyone can aware uh, can contribute the uh, the task given to each member so everyone can contribute to achieve the goals uh, on time and by work together so for different places of course uh, they have different parameters to measure but uh, the important uh, when you conduct the project, okay, once you get the user requirement, okay, remember at the end of the uh, project or closing or the, yeah, we call it closing the uh, phase, all the requirement, uh, user requirement should be completed uh, by end of the project. So whatever the mention in the uh, user requirement should be completed. So that one is the uh, the goals yeah, of the project. So the user requirement is a play important, uh, especially when you identifying the objective, when you identifying the project that you want to develop, identifying the user requirement, uh, stakeholder needs, and so on. Okay. Okay, so maybe Mr. Muhammad, Muhammad Ismat, Muhammad Ismat, please. Yeah. Yes. We have a question from Muhammad Ismat. Can I just read it? I think it's for Dr. Adi Bobo. Which, oh, I see. there is, there is. 
Uh, wait, wait. Where is? Oh, man, I'm just wondering what the extent that I can grow and maybe I can set it together. Okay. Yeah, it's a, a very good question. Yeah. Uh, the question is, uh, I wondering to what extent the AI can grow and maybe can share the negative part of AI and how do we can fix it? Yeah. The the last part, maybe the negative one, is the very important. Is the you now what this is uh, AI uh, really good to create the fake video or many kind of uh, multimedia content? We thought uh, uh, we thought need very hard skill to code, yeah, just using and then create the fake video. It's very easily now. It's mean that the privacy uh, many. It's really important. I think the the research from Dr. Fedra about the Stegano and many things is very interesting to implement to uh, uh, stop the. Hey, to stop the AI by the make sure the privacy is safe, yeah, secure, is very important. And yeah, the AI now really uh, can make many content uh, easily. And what the extent the AI can grow? Yeah, AI try to make the human-like thinking. However, uh, based on the survey. Uh, 50 years ago, when people asking uh, uh, AI can make a robot or not, yeah, and they said can make a robot like human uh, in 30 years later, yeah, the years later. However, after the 30 years, years from 1950 to 1980, the robot still not yet uh, done, yeah. Till now, yeah, the robots still have many problems. Uh, it's mean, yeah, it's uh, AI now still growing. Try to make the human-like thinking, human, and controlling the like uh, human uh, can do. But more important, uh, we should try to use the AI to uh, extend our limitation. For example. Uh, limitation to see very fast object or something to detect some a kind of uh, like uh, many kind of uh, impossible to measure by our sensing uh, AI can sensing so this is the one of uh, important thing uh, why we still learn AI maybe I think it's uh, answer the question hopefully Maybe there is many. Uh, 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 what should we stop the class, Mister <laughs> Doctor Ferda? <laughs> because it's uh, unmute, please unmute, unmute, unmute. We still have one more question for Doctor Ferda here. Can many, many. Uh, yes. Is it okay? Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, yes. Mister Ferda. This is from Ananda Vijaya. He is a. He's a one of our students here in Undip. Thank you for sharing such an interesting topic. I want to ask about project risk management. Some big game companies still miss the game project deadline uh, by like years, for example. Some of them saying that they still have many bugs. So they hope the release of the game. Uh, is it wise to extend the deadline to fix the bug for months in cost of losing customer who are tired of waiting or they already have purchase, you know, so sometimes customer can purchase early before the release. I don't know. I forget the terms. Uh, or is it better to just release the game? With the with so many bugs inside, but the consequence the customer will experience the bug. So which one should the company of 
game industry should choose. Just release the game and as the date, but but the problem is still there. Or we hold the game, the release of the game until we uh, fix all the bug. Which one do you think, Mr. Uh, Dr. Veda? Okay, uh, so the problem here is the planning. Okay, so yeah. the team, uh, the team are not able to plan properly, and also the implementation. Okay, so once the implementation, such as uh, uh, yeah, one of the implementation part is the testing. Okay, uh, testing is uh, important to verify the, the the game or the product that you develop uh, has fulfilled all the user requirement. Uh, once the uh, planning, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't design the planning properly, uh, so uh, you will always uh, release uh, bugs, error, and so on. Yeah. So the suggestion, of course, okay, when you meet the industry, uh, industry will not accept your product or your game because the your product or your game. Does not fulfill all the requirement. Does not fulfill all the uh, the industry necessary. Uh, of course, they have a list of the documents, list of the user requirement. Once the user, uh, uh, once the user can see the the what we call the uh, the weakness of your product. Okay, so it means that it does not fulfill this list, this requirement. So it means that uh, the it should be. Uh, re file again, okay, relook again, uh, and then replan again uh, to in order to complete the product and meet the user uh, requirement. So, uh, but the, th the thing is, we already in the situation. What should we choose then? If we still in the part of planning, we can still uh, fix the plan or we hire more programmer to to do the job. But the thing is we already in the deadline and there are there are only two choices which one we should choose. Just release or hold back. Of course if the industry uh, doesn't meet uh, uh, the requirement uh, that they want, uh, of course the product will uh, fail. Means uh, you have to revise then it cannot be released. Oh, uh, it yeah. will give a uh, uh, significant uh, impact to the industry uh, perspective. Maybe the, uh, what we call, the user will gone, uh, will run away from the industry. They don't believe again to the industry. So it will, there is a business model. So it, uh, it gives impact to the user perspective. Therefore, the industry will make sure that the the product that the developed by uh, the student or the the programmer should complete all the requirement. Okay, that's clear now. Thank you, Dr. Can we have another question, Dr. Adi Bowo? Okay, please. This is from Zarfan. I think there is there is question for me. Uh, from, from, Gaza, yeah. from Gaza, maybe that the Gaza Sacho. Yeah. Good afternoon. So thank you for your how to find out how much data such as player behavior can be retrieved in game without affording user privacy. Uh, okay. I see. So for the game for uh, AI for game is developed before uh, uh, release and used by user. It means need to testing and need to add the training data before the release. Uh, same as the uh, Dr. Veda said that if not yet uh, ready, it means not will not release. So it's also similar with the game. The game will complete the all all the training, for example, if we, they use the uh, supervised learning. And for the how, how many data, 
it's how much the data it's it's as big as possible yeah as big as possible it's uh, nowadays it's uh, data driven ai it's mean ai developed from data it's common compared to the rule based ai and so uh, the all possible user ex user possible expert uh, experience must be test yeah must be has have sample and then uh, the game ready uh, for the for the release yeah and about the privacy user privacy uh, I, i'm not sure the game privacy still um, I'm, i think the privacy uh, game privacy uh still many problem common people like they lost their user yeah uh it's mean the however the very good company for making game uh, they come and uh, like uh, the online user their online user uh disappear or steal by people uh and uh, it's mean that yeah uh, many bugs many many leak uh, in the game it's come used for uh stall the user privacy and for the ai itself not uh, will develop before the the game release so it will not retrieve the user privacy i think uh this is my answer yeah i think uh time's up yeah already uh, <laughs> oh. uh, my uh, student uh yeah i believe the the other student also have another uh, class after this so maybe we, we can take picture first maybe turn on the camera okay all yes. the student is the It's really uh, how to say. This is the one of the advantage for for the COVID. Yeah, we can meet easily by online. Yeah, people can get course from Diponegoro University and get course from UMP. It's really interesting. But the problem we don't have a physical uh, connection. Okay, nice. Okay, please turn on your camera and don't forget to fill the attendee form. Okay. Okay, good. Mr. Fajar, could you take picture? For yeah, thank you. Please, Ivaldo, can you turn on your camera? One, one. And uh, at least in the first page, we have called Ricky Rivaldo. Okay. Okay. okay, geez, everyone. One, two, three. The second page. Second page. <coughs> No camera on second page. Third page. No camera either. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Verda, for your time. Yeah, thank you all. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, uh, all the students. Uh, we will see you on the uh, tomorrow. Yeah, we have a lab. Uh, see you. Bye. 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 Thank you.